Today in one of the most highly anticipated congressional hearings in decades, former special counsel Robert Mueller told Congress that his investigation into Russian interference in the 2016 presidential election did not exonerate President Trump. The president reacted to that testimony about an hour ago. There was no defense to this ridiculous hoax, this witch hunt that's been going on for a long time. It's a disgrace what happened, but I think today proved a lot to everybody. Our Sion Rhodes is live downtown now with local reaction to the hearings today. Sion? And, Bill, both sides were trying to sway public opinion about that nearly 450-page report that very few Americans have even read. As the much-anticipated televised testimony unfolded... The president has repeatedly claimed that your report found there was no obstruction and that it completely and totally exonerated him. But that is not what your report said, is it? Correct. That is not what the report said. Democrats and Republicans each making their points on Robert Mueller's much disputed report. Donald Trump is not above the law. He's not. But he damn sure shouldn't be below the law, which is where volume two of this report puts him. Miles away from Capitol Hill, players in local party politics were watching the hearings closely. It's great for people to get the chance to be able to understand it more in depth. While Mueller did not reveal any new information, DJ Ibarra, executive director of the Harris County Democratic Party, said the hearings would impact his party's base voters. The divisive president is motivating people here locally to do more work and to make sure that we are uh, hitting the ground running, getting ready for 2020. So this is really just nonsense. It's a sideshow. It's a distraction. Harris County Republicans said it was all a waste of time. Rather than fixing our uh, problems at the border and the crisis down there, rather than addressing health care, rather than even renaming a post office, the Democrats keep flogging the dead horse. But both sides agree in today's hearings likely did not change any opinions. As to whether. And both sides very clearly frustrating, frustrated during today's hearings with Robert Mueller sticking to his guns, not veering away from the report, and actually deflecting or not answering questions more than 150 times. Reporting live, Sion Rhodes, KPRC, Channel 2 News.